In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a plugin in Chart.js Part 2. And basically, we have now our structure ready. We have everything. We have designed this square. And what I want to do now is eventually start moving it in the right position here. So let's play around a little bit more and understand what we've done so far here. All right. So for this, I need to explain here a little bit more. And that's the following. What is or what does this all mean? So basically there are four parameters here and what are we going to do with the parameters? So basically this is it. The first one is an x0. The second one is the y0. The third one is x1. And the fourth one is y1. What does it mean? It's basically this. x1 of x0 is the starting point in pixels. Why in pixels? Well, because we're working here with a canvas tag. The canvas works with pixels, not in percentages. If you want percentages, you need SVG files. And then we're talking about 3D chart designs. All right, but here, the starting point in pixels of the horizontal, uh, of the horizontal the horizontal part basically so we want to create here there it is but it starts at the horizontal level probably that's the right term and this is left slash right meaning we are starting here somewhere left to right somewhere depending how many pixels and this says you 10 pixels meaning if we open up our oh we have our developer tab open and sorry that's not what i wanted open up the developer tab click here on this item now you can see here the following. You can see here our canvas is 700 pixels by 350. See here below, just below my thing. But if I go over here, you can see it jumps away. So I don't want to go on there. However, 700 by, by 250. However, this point here right now is 10 pixels in, in uh, space. And then it starts to draw. So basically that's what's happening here. We have 10 pixels of space. And after 10 pixels to the right, Counting from zero, and zero is the left position exactly here in the canvas. Counting from here, space, and then we have this here. All right, 10 pixels. So left to right. So there, that's the first one. The second one is the starting point, but not on the horizontal level, but on the vertical level, meaning top and bottom. Top and bottom. And if you look back here, you go back here, you can see here as well, top and bottom space between there's a difference as well. All right, so that's also so. Once we have it, and then we define here the x1 is the length in pixels of the horizontal level left to right, basically. So, meaning here, if we have this, we have first 10 pixels of space. You can see like a margin or a padding, and here as well. This is my almost you can say here this is margin left it is margin top and then we have here the the official amount of pixels of the horizontal line here so this is right now a square because it's 10 by 10 but if i move this now 20 it will become a rectangle meaning it would be 20 in length refresh you can see here now we are slightly longer in length all right so that's basically what happens here so then, of course, here the y, you probably understand as well, it's the length of the pixel, or maybe even here the length, the width specifically, and this would be the height specifically in pixels. That's probably the right term, the width in pixels, horizontal level, and the height in pixels on the vertical level. And this is, of course, top and bottom. So if I save this, let's make this 50, and you will see now, you refresh, it creates a very long blue line the height has been 50 pixels 50 pixels sorry so this is basically how you can do it so we can move this around and you can see here and this is really important if you are in charge yes you're used to do thing from here this is the zero line and then starting from here however if you want to go to this line you have to think from the opposite basically from up because now we have to calculate how do we get from top all the way down because this is officially zero this here below would probably be, uh, if the height is 700, uh, 350 pixels, then 
most likely the bottom here is 350. So if you want to have like, we want to push it more down, what we have to do is we have to calculate basically this. So let's say we want to push the height down. This is 50 pixels. We want to push it all down here, 350. So that would mean that we need to have a space on the top of 300 pixels, and then we have 50 pixels down here. So let's try that, and then to see if this is correct. So if I make this now, there's 350 pixels from top going down, and after the 350 pixels, then we have 50 pixel drawing. Save this, refresh, and as you can see, now we're going exactly down, and if I click on the canvas, you can see we hit exactly the canvas border. Maybe the border is basically just being hit, so that's nice. And as you can see here now, you get a slightly trick here. How would you get the exact position of these items here? Because let's look at it. Let's move this inspector option. And you can see how we get this exactly, because now, would it mean that we have to hard code in guessing? The answer, of course, is no. There are ways to get this. The solution for that is eventually this magic number here, everything that we have here above. So in the next video, I'm going to break down this part here, and then we can start drawing something in a chart, and we can basically make our own chart JS. Although I don't recommend it, of course, because there's far more things behind the screen and all the calculations being done. But if you see this, you will understand this, and afterwards you can do some crazy stuff, some creative stuff as well. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.